Hi, guys. If you recall, at the beginning of the course, we talked about Java was based on three pillars. Encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about polymorphism. The concept says a superclass reference variable can reference objects of a subclass. Let's take a look at that. So we have graded activity. We create an object called exam. Now, that's just a reference variable. Excuse me. I made a mistake there. Exam is not an object. It's just a reference variable that can point to a graded activity object, which has yet to be made. And now I say exam is equal to new graded activity. OK, now we've created the graded activity object. OK, that's great. Let's take a look at maybe a, something a little different. If you recall, uh, let's suppose that we've created final exam, which extends graded activity. Okay, So the graded activity class is a superclass for final exam. And I say graded activity exam is equal to new final exam 50 and 7. OK, exam is a reference variable that can store the address of a graded activity object. Now, I'm going to have exam store the address of a final exam object. And that's OK, because final exam is a subclass of graded activity. That's OK. It says, this statement declares exam as a graded activity variable. It then creates a final exam object and stores the object ac address in the exam variable. This is perfectly legal, legal and will not cause an error message, because final exam object is also a graded activity object. This is an example of polymorphism. The term polymorphism means the ability to take many forms. In Java, a reference variable is polymorphic because it can reference objects of types different from its own as long as those types are subclasses. All of the following declarations are legal because final exam, pass-fail activity, and pass-fail exam are all classes that inherit from graded activity. So these would all be OK. Now, although a graded activity variable can reference objects of any class that inherit from graded activity, there is a limit to what the variable can do with those objects. All right, this is where it gets interesting. Recall that the graded activity class has three methods, set score, get score, and get grade. So a graded activity variable can be used to call only those three methods, regardless of the type of object that the variable references. So take a look here. OK, here's exam. It's a graded activity reference variable, but it actually has the address of a pass-fail exam object. But exam will only be able to call the methods from graded activity, which are set score, get score, and get grade. It will not be able to call, like this in this case here, um, get points each, because that's not a graded activity method. It's very important that you understand that limitation. OK, I think that's enough for today. Please make sure you read this, go over it, and make sure you understand it for me.